Well, the past few years have had an unprecedented effect on our environment, from the catastrophic drought to the bushfires that wiped out a billion animals. The impact has been profound. It's the subject of a remarkable new documentary narrated by Oscar winner Helen Mirren. Weekend Sunrise movie man Jason Jabba Davis has more. From the Australian outback to the Amazon rainforests, more animals are on the brink of extinction than ever before. It's being called an environmental emergency. The United Nations estimates one million species are right now facing extinction. More than 300,000 dolphins die a year as bycatch for our fishing industries. Everything that you can possibly make a profit with will be affected by illegal trade. Escape from extinction is shining a light on the massive loss of biodiversity around the world. Sixth mass extinction is not just something that is going to happen, it's something that is happening. The circumstances facing animals today are more dire than ever, mainly from the destruction of habitat caused by humans and the changing climate, and illegal poaching. But there is hope. Around the world, zoos and aquariums are working frantically to save as many endangered species as they can. The only reason certain species are alive today is because zoos and aquariums have saved them from extinction. It looks pretty grim from, from the opening onset. All these creatures that have been made extinct in the last hundred years or so, where do we stand? We're on the edge of a, the sixth mass extinction level. Yeah, I think... Um... <sighs> You know, it, it, it does come across quite grim at times. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, wildlife that is, is threatened around the world. The documentary really highlights the role of zoos and aquaria and, and their role in conservation. Uh, we've come a long way from um, menageries of the past to, to real science institutions where people come to connect with wildlife. Often the thing with zoos is you always aspire to be the best, but you often are, end up being judged by the worst. My name's Joe Exotic and this is Sarge. There's a wonderful range of excellent institutions doing incredible work. I grew up with zoos, but it feels like some people these days maybe, you know, take offence at the idea of keeping animals caged. Where do you guys stand on that idea? We just encourage people to choose Zara accredited zoos and aquariums to support and you can easily check that on our website, that's zooaquarium.org.au. We use a, a science-based model called the five domains to grant accreditation to zoos and aquariums that have clearly demonstrated their commitment to a, a positive animal welfare. Zoos and aquariums, accredited by the Zoo and Aquarium Association, are participating in more than 600 conservation programs worldwide. They contribute more than $20 million to conservation each year. What species are most in danger right now around the world and here in Australia? Some of the ones that probably really need a bit of a spotlight shone on them at the moment are things like orange-bellied parrots. In about 2019, there was fewer than 50 parrots estimated to be in the wild. But the Zar breeding program, working with zoos across Victoria, Tasmania, South Australia, and also governments as well, has been contributing to the wild populations. Also making a difference, the Numbat Breed for Release program, which has added about 270 of the endangered Aussie animals back into the wild. Other techniques for protecting critically endangered species are a bit more tech savvy. By freezing frog sperm, a process that we call biobanking, we can make sure that we don't lose the critical genetic diversity from the current populations that exist. With the threat of more species becoming extinct, modern zoos have become one of the last defences for some of the world's most incredible wildlife. Escape from Extinction is screening in cinemas now. We created the problem. We must be the solution.